if the, the snow is gone and it's dry, as soon as we can go out and terminate that cover crop, unless we're planning on do, doing some grazing. Because the, if we have uh, limited soil moisture and we allow that to overwinter and continue growing, that's going to be soaking up that uh, soil moisture and we're going to be drying out that profile. We have built soil aggregates. We have the roots in there. We have the mycorrhizae fungi. We have all the positive, but if we have no water, it's really tough to grow crops. Mm-hmm. So we really have to manage that water. And on the flip side, uh, in in the years of uh, 2010 to 2014 in, in the Yorkton area, we were averaging about 40 inches of rain, which normally we get about eight. So having these overwintering cover crops actually saved my hide more than once because the plant was growing. It was using that excess water and I was able to get in and scratch in some crops where I could. So on the wet too dry, we have to manage it. And on the too wet, we have to manage it. But it's it's different goals of what we want to do. Which is interesting because we often hear like every farm is different, and I guess that's that's a big thing, right? 